Hello and welcome to another IB Math Speedrun with me, Vince. Today we're going to be going through chapter 11.3, which is all about continuous random variables. So let's jump right in. So in the last chapter, or the last subchapter, we met the discrete random variable, which is a variable that took separate distinct values um, and was, of course, random. But for a continuous random variable, the variable is still random, but it, vary, value, it varies on a continuous scale. So, um, yeah. So it can normally, for continuous variables, instead of asking for the probability that it is at an, at an exact value, which is, of course, tends to, I think, zero for a continuous variable, we need to ask for the probability over a range of values or over an interval. So for a function f to be a probability density function of a continuous random variable, um, the function must always be greater or is equal to zero for um, x is a real number and the limit from negative infinity to infinity of the function is equal to one. Since um, even as we approach infinity, the function there's still values for the function. So what this is saying is the total area under the graph of this probability density function must equal one. Yep. Yeah. So this is a very general definition. For most times, the function is only positive between a and b, like some interval. So we would replace um, this with the interval and this with the interval here. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so with that being said, let's jump into some questions. So the first question is a continuous var random variable x has the PDF, probability density function, f of x, where, and then I'll write it. So first find the value of the constant k and next, sketch the PDF. And then finally, find oh, the probability that x is less than or equal to negative 1. The probability that 0 is less than or equal to x is less than or equal to 1. And the probability that negative 1 is less than or equal to x is less than or equal to 1. Okay. And the function looks like this. So it looks like mm, looks like f of x is equal to piecewise function k times x plus 2 squared for negative 2 is less than x is less than 0. Um, 4k for 0 is less than or equal to x is less than or equal to less than or equal to 1 and 1 third or 4 thirds and 0 otherwise. So we know that the limit between negative 2 and 0 of k times x plus 2 squared plus the limit between 0 and 4 thirds of 4k must equal 1. DK, uh, DX, sorry. DX. DX. So, therefore, the limit between 0 and negative 2 of 1 third K times X plus 2 cubed using chain rule plus the um, between 4 thirds and 0 of 4 KX must equal 1. So we have um, 1 third k times 8 um, minus 0 plus 4 thirds times 4 k must equal 1. So we have 8 thirds k plus 16 thirds k is equal to 1. So we have 24 over 3, or 8k, is equal to 1. So k is equal to 1a. Okay, nice. Uh, la, la, la. Yep, so we have 1a times x plus 2 squared. 
and 4 times 1 eighth is 1 half. So the probability is 1 half between 0 is x is 4 thirds. So if we draw these axes and it's between, it's, it's 1 half here and it's 1 eighth x plus 2 squared, which means the bottom is like here-ish. Oh, but it will tend to zero. So this, this will touch zero. Okay, so then the function will look like this. And then jump back to zero here. So let me just draw it a bit more clearly. So it goes up to one half and then it goes back to zero. Okay, next we have to find these probabilities. So the probability that x will be less than or equal to negative 1. Well, what's the probability at x is equal to negative 1? Or actually, we need to find the integral. In this case, we need to find the integral of the function between negative 1 and negative infinity. But in this case, it's 0 otherwise. So it's just going to be negative 1 and the lowest bound, which is negative 2, of 1 eighth times x plus 2 squared dx, which is equal to the limit between negative 1 and negative 2 of la, 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 1 over 24 times x plus 2 <clears throat> cubed. So we really only have um, negative 1, negative 1 cubed. So this will just be equal to 1 over 24. So the probability that x will be less than 1 is 1 over 24. Next, the probability that uh, x will be between 0 and 1. So we can take the limit here. So it's equal to 1 half. So this is simply equal to 1 half times 1. 1, one half times 1 or 1 half. Since um, the value of the probability density function is 1 half for all those values between 0 and 1. So this will be equal to 1 half. And finally, the probability that x will be between negative 1 and 1. Hmm. Well, greater than the probability that x will be greater than negative 1 is 23 over 24. But now we need to find the probability that x will be greater than 1, which is equal to um, 4 thirds minus 1 times 1 half. 4 thirds minus 1, 1 third times 1 half, 1 sixth. So this is 23 over 24 minus 1 sixth which is equal to 4 over 24. So this should be equal to 19 over 24. So yeah, okay, that was that question done, nice. Okay, and then we have the final question, which is the continuous random variable x is given by something something. So first find the value of the constant and finally, find the probability that x will be less than 0 0.5. So the piecewise function is f of x is equal to 2x to the c, where 0 is less than x is less than or equal to 1, and 0 otherwise. Mm, OK, so in other words, the limit between 0 and 1 of 2x so the c must be equal to 1. So this is equal to 1, 0 of 2 over c, x, c plus 1, x to the c plus 1 is equal to 1. So since x is 0, so um, we only need to consider 2 over c plus 1 is equal to 1, more or less. So 2 is equal to c plus 1, so c is equal to 1. Oh, how uneventful. I should, I should have guessed. 2x? Hold on. Is it just 1? Yeah, no, it's just 1, isn't it? 2x between 0 and x and 1. Yeah, c is just equal to 1. That was very uneventful. So what's the probability that x is less than 0 0.5? Well, we have to take the very uneventful limit of 0 and 0 0.5 of 2x dx 
which is equal to x squared. So 0 0.5 squared is equal to 1 fourth. So the probability that it will be less than 0 0.5 is 1 fourth. So that was all for the speed run. I hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you in the next one. See you then.